When you're trying to date, but you're a single, single mom, things get hard. So I just want to talk about how annoying it is to be in the early stages of like dating somebody as a single mom. I just so badly want a family. And I feel ridiculous sitting here in my car right now crying. I need someone to please explain dating to me in 2024. Single mom life and dating and just what we go through. To also just blame the fact that I was a single mom. And maybe that's why I don't have a dating life. Dating as a single parent is so difficult. As a single mom, it is so hard to date. We know it's difficult. The struggle is real. Being a single mom is so damn hard. My dating love life. Like, go on a random date or something. My friends felt so bad. They're like, I'm so sorry. I know you were excited about this guy. Like, I'm sorry it didn't work out. You let him hit it wrong. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. Nothing has made me feel as old as dating in my 30s does. This guy asked me for my social, and I was like, what do you need my social for? And he's like, no, like, your social media. And I was like, oh. We come from a... She's lying. She's doing TikTok. Of course she knows what social media is. A single mother, and in my relationship, I was like, well, I want my children to come from a two-parent household. Like, I don't want to have them go through what I went through. Dating as a single parent is wild because how are you supposed to respond whenever they say, did you have a good week? Um, are you supposed to just be like, oh, it was good? Or are you supposed to be truthful and be like, um, actually this week was dragging me by my freaking thong. My son was sick two out of the five days. No, you shouldn't answer like that because men don't actually care. We're just being polite so we can get into your pants. That's it. You chose to be a single mother. We don't care about your problems. Because women don't care about our problems. So I've noticed lately that broke men are trying to convince single mothers that rich men don't want them. And the funniest thing about that to me is... The reasons are usually like, oh, it's so much harder. It's going to be more expensive. They're looking at the children as obstacles. They're looking at these women as used goods. And here's the thing. Successful men don't base what they want off of how easy it is to get it. In fact, in my experience, when there's a bit of a challenge, it's more exciting for them. No, it's not. <laughs> Let me show you. Her boyfriend, guys. <laughs> so this is her boyfriend. It's clear he's like at least 20 years older. And yes, he has money. But that's the best that he can attract. Even if he has money. A single mother that is as young as her. So no... Uh, wealthy people don't like a challenge. That's the best he can get. They're not going to go with the easiest lay, right? They're going to go with someone that's interesting to them. So by her logic, why don't you date a guy that is wealthy at your age? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Because that guy can attract a single lady in her 20s. Of course, he won't be going for the single mother. Can you see their logic? They have no logic, guys. And the qualities that make someone a good mother really makes them an interesting person and a really good partner, too. Of course. So, food for thought. These broke guys dusty guys really shitty guys are gonna try to convince you that you're not worth as much because they're trying to get a baddie for a discount bro being a single mom is literally the hardest shit ever like you cannot do anything i literally got like one side of my weights racked at the gym because i tried to work out and they're calling me over the intercom to come get him literally after five minutes because he don't want to be with anybody but me because i'm the only person with him <laughs> I don't get it. Why didn't you think about this before having a child? Why do women think, oh, it will be so easy. I can still go to clubs. I can still do a workout without having any problems. No, you have to take care of a kid. That kid comes first. <laughs> but you literally just can't do anything. I'm literally so exhausted from work, like 90% of the time. So I... Don't ever get 
to do like a good like real workout i've never let me cry on tiktok so people feel sorry for me for my bad choices in life never had to deal with that like with a guy saying oh i don't want to date you because you have a kid if anything having of course because the guys will lie to you will lie to you to get into your pants to have sex with you but you're still single so how don't you get the message they just want to smash they don't want to marry you having a child might work in your favor for certain reasons one of them being that obviously you're fertile and you know you could have children and that's important for some men who want to have children they also just assume that yes they want to have their own children they don't want to have to take care of another man's children that you're less selfish you know more giving and more motherly it's mostly the older men so i know i'll probably get some like men or like some dusties commenting like there's no way i would date a girl with a child like we're not talking about you we're talking about older men who are more successful and who have a provider mentality yeah the same as the previous woman a guy that is 20 years older than her yeah that guy you're the best that he can attract you meet a single mother and her first sentence is my ex was a narcissist my ex was abusive my ex my ex my ex and she talks about how terrible he was this is a huge red flag she's showing you that she doesn't have good vetting process when it comes to romantic relationships she already is showing this by being a single mother she already chose the wrong guy or at least she's not in the relationship anymore with that guy she's not married with that guy so she already failed from the start if you can lay in bed and have children with a man that you consider abusive and you consider narcissistic and you're saying there was no red flags before it all happened afterwards this person is blind she goes into dating yeah. blind she goes into relationships yeah. blind it shows that she could put her children in danger again the moms low-key was dating their son you was low-key the version of your daddy mm. i'm just gonna date you but not have sex with you low-key one thing that somebody said on one of my videos and it stuck with me single moms raise their sons to be the man that they wish their father yeah. was as yeah. much as we like to say that we can do and raising them like that they turn out to be seems why because she wasn't attracted to a guy like her son she was attracted to the bad boy but she wished the bad boy was this way this way this way this way so she teaches that to her son and her son because uh, becomes a simp and women are not attracted to that kind of guy she wasn't attracted to that kind of guy but all you can't teach a man how to be masculine you're teaching him what you think it means to be a man or love a woman from a woman's perspective and yeah. a lot of men struggle with that you feel again that you've done your role and you raised me to be this way but this is not what women are actually looking for yeah. so they get up here and they try to date or marry have kids and they're struggling single mothers yeah in the relationship that they have with their daughters versus their son. Oh my goodness. Woo! Baby! Girl, it was hard on us. We had to make sure the house was clean, cooked. Like, mm -hmm. we had chores. We had duties. We have so much high expectations. It's like the men, they, they was just coasting. It's like this internalized type of hatred that a lot of women have toward their daughters. A lot of it has to do with jealousy. Like, they're secretly jealous, especially if you see a mom, if she was a young single mom, and then they have a daughter who's thriving like she's living her life a lot of women kind of see that and they're envious because it's like you're yeah it's competition to them you're doing all the things that i wish i could have done so i'm secretly channeling that frustration oh i have God. on you these are perfect crystals for a first date to calm down the nerves for going on your first date lithium quartz and smoky quartz are going to soothe your nerves for confidence you're going to want <sighs> We're just going to, to skip this video because uh, I don't think I can listen to it till the end. My, my eye, I swear to you, my eye started twitching when I, when I heard her. Yeah, guys, I, I think I'm going nuts. My eye is still twitching just from hearing that. I think I'm going insane. Are you ever ready to be a single mom? No, you're not ever ready. I think you just come to a point where you're choosing to keep everything the same or you're breaking out of it and you're starting fresh. You're either continuing the path that you're on or you're making a change for a new life. 
So many factors are involved, though, like your financial situation. When you're with somebody else under the same roof, it's a lot easier to get by and live with two incomes, a support system, even though maybe they're not a support system, but they're supporting in in ways overall, like in the home. Even living under the same roof as somebody that you can't stand, just knowing that someone's there is like... a a big thing i don't know maybe and why haven't you thought about this before becoming a single mother before having a child maybe it's just me but you just get used to it it's like a comfortable comfortability type thing is that a word but choosing to be a single mom is not like this glorious choice but you are left with no choice at a certain point Yeah, of course, at a certain point, you have no other choice because you already had a kid. But why didn't you choose better before having a kid? You must find more happiness and more peace, I think. Peace. And just feeling released from it. Living on your own with your kids is definitely a struggle, but I think the things that make you... Uh, that are that are a struggle will push you harder and will make you more masculine and less attractive to men i think it's very commendable to date a single mother if she's in the child's life obviously she's a responsible woman you didn't choose this obviously of course you chose this you chose this when you had a kid with that guy you chose it was your body your choice Because I don't think any woman wants to be a single mother. It shows that you raised a great son to be able to accept a woman for her struggles and what she's going through. I don't know. I would not say it's commendable for a man to be with a single mom. I think if your son is choosing a single mom, his value is fairly low in the sexual marketplace. And he... And he's a simp. Probably doesn't have better options. But to be clear, I think in this scenario, right, you got a single mom who, by dating her, by default, you're going to take on excess responsibility without the corresponding authority, meaning you can't discipline the kid in certain ways. It's not your f***ing kid. And you have to then listen to her, and she takes lead on the parenting aspect, which removes your authority as a man. So that's very difficult for him to play that role. He still has to usually take on the financial responsibilities of caring for that child because he's caring for the mom. He also has to help out with the kid, take soccer practice, whatever. So it's usually an L all the way around. A lot more take on their side, give on his side with very little in return. So what I heard is just what I heard is that we got good coach. I'm going to tag in on this question real quick as I just got out of a relationship with a woman who had a child, which I will say right now, if she called me right now and said, Christian, somebody's doing something in the case, I'm dropping everything I'm doing to see who needs to get fucked up. But when I was out on the dating scene, uh, it really wasn't my preference to date somebody with a child. I don't have any children. And although there are unknowns, regardless if you date somebody with a child or without, there are some common things that men experience when they're dealing with women who have children that I wasn't totally sure if I wanted to expose myself to. But here's the thing about men that a lot of women don't understand. A lot of those preferences really do go out of the window when we really find a connection with somebody that we're into. No, my guy, you just showed that you're stupid. You're a simp. How can you make a connection with a single mother if you from the start avoid talking to single mothers, avoid dating single mothers. How can you form a connection? And plus, you just show that you're not logical. You just go by what you feel because you felt a certain way about her and you dated her. Dating as a mom is so serious. And really a girl mom, like dating in general is is really serious, but I'm gonna speak for myself as a girl mom. I want to make sure that I do my very best to set an example for my daughter. I really want her to know her self-worth very, very early on to where she don't have to deal with what I had to go through um, as a young adult, as a teen, um, and even as an adult as she experienced the world. And I feel like I did a really great job with that, um, starting early, leaving her dad at four months pregnant because I just felt like she deserved the more healed, more happier version of me. And the only way she was going to get that was for me to transition into being a single mom um although nobody wants to be a single mom but that's just you know what happens when you're not happy um she broke up with her boyfriend after four months of being pregnant so all of a sudden only after four months of being pregnant you were you were unhappy before that before conceiving that child you were perfectly happy 
can you see their logic? There is no logic. They're all basing everything on their emotion. That's all. They're not logical one bit. Um, and when you are having a kid, because everything moving forward is really about your child, not about you and your emotions. So me stepping into this dating world, I, um, I stopped dating. It's going on two years and I became celibate and it's going on nine months. Stop dating, two years, celibate, nine months. So <laughs> she was still having sex while not dating. I always said that I'm very intentional about who I'm going to have be my person. Because I said that whoever my next man is going to be my husband. Like, I'm very firm on that. And I'm just manifesting it. I know that it may not happen that way, but I'm just manifesting it. Because I'm not the type of person to just keep bringing multiple men around my daughter. Um, can you see a pattern with women that believe in crystals, in manifesting, in chakras? They all are single. They are all single mothers. They're, they're all, their life is not going great. People always talk about dating as a solo parent or as a single mom, and they think that like my biggest fear is the fact that I'm never going to find someone. Like I'm not going to find somebody who I love or who I'm a good fit with, etc. That's honestly not my biggest fear. I'm not afraid of not finding someone because I'm good. Like if it's just me and my son, it's good. I think a bigger fear for me is ending up with the wrong person or letting the wrong person in our lives. Okay, then why are you still dating? Why are you still making TikToks about dating, about your dating life? I don't get it. Just be alone. Just be alone, happy, and stop making TikToks. Because like I said, like me and my son together, we are a happy little family. Like we are good. I could spend the rest of my life solo with him and I would be happy and fulfilled. Don't think that that's God's plan for me. I do think that I'm meant to have a bigger family. I'm meant to have a husband. I'm meant to have more kids. And I also want to give that to my son. Like I want him to have a father figure in his life growing up, helping me raise him. I think it's really important for little boys to have that to look up to. But honestly, like. They're so contradicting. I don't need a man and I'm perfectly fine alone, but I don't think that's my purpose. I think God wants me to have a husband, wants to be here to have a family. Then just say, I will be happier having a man, having a husband. I'm not ha happy just having my son. Why don't you admit that? Like, especially lately because I've met somebody who's really amazing, who I like a lot. Obviously, it hasn't gotten to the point where he's, like, met my son or been around him. And I really... By the way, they already broke up. I like him. And, like, my biggest fear is that it's not going to end up being a good fit. Like, I'm going to fall in love with this person, but he's not going to be stepdad material or he's not going to be ready to be a stepdad. Like, things like that, you know? Like, it's literally more important for me for my son to feel loved deeply by the man that I marry than it even is. We as men cannot deeply love your child because it's your child, it's not ours. Yes, there are men that will be able to do that, but the, those usually are not the men that you want. The men that you want won't be able to do that. It's your kid. Why would I get attached to your kid? It's for me to feel loved deeply. Like, I know that I'll be fine regardless but i just i want that for my son and it's such a scary thing dating as a solo parent i honestly just like need to go on a quick little rant here just a quick little rant if somebody shows you who they are you need to believe them they do you dirty like so dirty and then after they're like oh my gosh i can't believe i did that uh yes they can believe they did that because they've done it before and i know i know i have fallen for this many times i am so guilty of it i put up these like blinders and i'm like <laughs> red flags where i don't see them and in the end i always end up getting hurt we are adults like we're literally adults which is weird but we are adults and you don't think someone's like had the opportunity to change before they chose to do this to you People are who they show you they are. And if they do yeah. it once, they're probably going to do it again. They disrespect sure. you if they cheat on you, if they lie to you, if they talk down to you. It's going to happen again. Your future partner, your future husband would never put you in the position to feel that way. They would never do anything to hurt you in the first place. But once you stop letting yourself be disrespected and you start respecting yourself and appreciating yourself, it leaves more room for the right people in your life. 
the child has to be looked after they need to be fed they need to be clothed they need these certain things mm. why should the mother take into account that the dad is having whatever financial situations whatever hardship like he's lost his job mm. because the child still needs, needs to, to be, be looked, looked after, after. Mm. so mm. shouldn't it just be I do my share and you have to do your share. How you go about getting your share is not my business. Okay, then I will say uh, you're 120 pounds. You don't get to gain any weight after you have a kid because that's your job. I take care of the financial things and what I have to do as a man. And you have to be fit, feminine and friendly forever i don't care that you have a bad day i don't care that the child scream all night and you didn't get any sleep that's your duty do your duty i don't care about your stuff i do my stuff you do yours let's see if that works no it never works it never works because when the mum is struggling like you said struggling she don't know where she's going to get her money from she don't know but she still needs to get it because mm. the child child still needs and it and that's the attitude i had them single moms don't have them kids on the weekends bro because like they've been there they've done that relationship shit, so they're kind of like blunt they're more blunt like they're more they're, more, they're the most like blunt they're like so we we go on or what yeah that's why young men tend to go for uh, single mothers because they're easy and they're fast and they don't play games. Yeah. But single mothers actually think that those young guys want to marry them. No, no, no. They just want to smash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can come over. They get me yeah. nervous. I'm like, oh shit. All right, all right. You want to do what? 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 Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I should take you on a date. I thought I came over just to watch movies. You dating a single mom, it's going real well, but she got a hate baby daddy because she posting you all and she's yeah. happy single mom got strategy kids feel bad say some shit like man he hit me the daddy might yeah. coach them to say something bad to get the mom especially if she has a daughter you can end up in jail she can say whatever she wants be careful my guy think logically not emotionally they get turned up the other dude coming in he jealous because he wanted baby mama back he didn't want her back when she was alone he just wanted back because you got it yeah y'all i could write a book on what to expect when you go through a divorce but honestly one of the best things that came out of um everything that i went through during my divorce is that i learned to be self-dependent and i also learned that dating right after divorce is like going to the grocery store starving hungry seriously i think there should be a book called like what to expect when you go through divorce kind of like what to expect when you're expecting but seriously somebody should warn you about that first initial relationship after my divorce the next relationship that i went to i was desperate but let me explain desperate the type of desperate that i was feeling during that time was a desperate need for somebody to value me somebody to nurture protect and love me maybe i was naive or whatever but that first initial relationship um after my divorce seemed to offer all that and now she has a lot of trauma and baggage and you have to deal with that 